hey guys welcome back so a lot of you guys still ask me hey Eddie how do you do API binding from Royal Q to Binance you know Royal Q actually have the video already video tutorial showing you but if you want more instruction I will tell you in this video in the previous two videos episode 2 I show you how to sign up and the fees that are involved in Royal Q and then the episode 3 I show you how to deposit asset inside your royal queue bot okay to activate the bot now once you activated the bot you need to do api binding before you start trading or before you can copy trade from a circle so how do you do api binding it's actually very easy uh, they already have the video but let me walk you through how it works so basically you need to open up your binance application as you can see right here once you are inside your binance application you want to go to home okay make sure this is in pro version not light version so that you can see the more button okay the more icon right here after that you can scroll down the page you will see api management click on that and then you can label your api or you can label it like royal queue whatever you want to name it it's up to you you can just put royal queue or something and then you can create api then it will ask you for your email verification and phone verification just input your email and phone verification guys and then submit now you can click on this little arrow down there and then you can click on edit so this is very important okay let me explain to you uh, this is where you allow royal q to do certain things on your binance okay so if you still don't understand api binding is basically allowing different platform to access your binance platform okay combined together so in this case royal q you will only check enable spot and margin trading do not take all of this okay just take one of them which is enable spot and margin trading do not take this so that you know they cannot withdraw your money okay this is very important and this is why i said to you royal queue is safe because our funds are on binance when we do api binding we only allow royal queue to trade okay to trade we don't allow them to do other than that so just take this one enable spot and margin trading and then here you want to check this one the restrict access to trusted ap only so make sure you check that and then you can go back to your royal queue app don't close the binance okay just press on home then go to your royal queue click on api binding then choose your exchange in this case is binance and you can copy your ip right there then you can return to your binance api page and here you can just paste the ip okay guys and then confirm then make sure to save it don't forget to save it you need to save it then you need to get your code every time you do this binance need you to verify that it is you it's not someone else put in your number right there and click submit and then that's done guys now you want to copy your access key okay your api key copy it and then come back to your royal queue paste it under the api key right there and then this is secret key this is very important this is only unique to you okay this secret key do not reveal it to someone else okay do not reveal it to anybody just copy that secret key go back to royal queue and paste it right there all right once done you need another layer of verification so you can see this is very safe people cannot come here and you know just mess up with your settings they need to go through a lot of verification to make sure it is you that is doing that now you need to check this the risk warning you can read it if you want to then click bind and there we go you can see it is bound 
and now you can start trading okay hopefully you understand how to bind api between binance and royal q after you have bind it guys uh, you can start trading if you have been around for a long time you know how to trade or you can do manual settings or you can go watch my episode 4 right here i show you the circle or you can see these two videos i highly encourage you watch these two videos first before you choose a circle before you choose a coin uh, watch these two videos first all right and i will see you on the next one